Hey guys, Rashid of Team Bad Yugi's here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Club video. This time we have another deck profile from January 14, although technically, this is from April 2014. But um, since we can keep the deck list pretty much the exact same, I'm using it for this format to play with everything else. Because this list is, in my opinion, the right, the best way to play this deck. Because we're playing Heratic Rulers. Now this is Denny Useless, the one that he won, got first at, what, YCS? Uh, I can't remember. But he got first at the YCS with this. But we have one card change. Because we were able to play in the format before this. Anyways, we have the nine Heratics. Staple. Very, very important for the combos. This was one of the strongest decks this format. Well, was, uh, in my opinion it was. Definitely one of the scariest decks to play against. Because it just popped off so hard. And we're playing the card of Consonance build. Not the Heratic Seal of the Ashes build. So we have the four Vanillas, two Flame Veil, two Labradorite, then one Influence, one Debris. And then, of course, we have four very good boys right here. Tidal, Tempest, Blaster, and Redox, rest in peace. One day. No, no no days. Never coming back. Not without Narada. But here's the difference. This is the card of Consonance build. Um, not playing Heratic Seal of the Ashes. As much as I love that card, I have to admit... If you are good at managing your resources, you never need to resolve that card. So instead you're playing cards of consonance to just kill your opponent faster. It turns the worst cards in your hands into the into better cards. So, swear by it. But this is the difference. This was put the 2 on the April 1st ban list. So since we're able to play 3, let's make the deck even more consistent. That sounds fair. Anyways, triple consonance for the 6 targets. Uh, 3 upstarts. And then two Dragon Shrine, because you don't really have the time to be resolving more of these, and opening up two in hand is very unfortunate. So we're trying to avoid it, while still um, playing two, so that we can open it up enough to actually see it. One Gold Sark, one Heavy Storm, one Book of Moon. Then for the traps, we have Triple Reckless, a Double Skill Drain, one Warning, and then to make room for the other consonants, or the other... The other the other search spell, had to cut the black horn to one. I still wish this was, this was it too. Um, if I figure out something better to cut for it, I will in the future, but this Book of the Moon is still stronger. I will stick with that for now, over the horn. Uh, two Atum, one M7, very important for bouncing back the little boys to make Card of Constance in your hand live again. Uh, two Gaia Dragons, two Draco Sacks, and one Big Eye. And then for the Synchros, one Black Rose, one Stardust, one Scrap Dragon, one Crimson Blader. Cannot argue enough how important this is, especially in Dragon Mirrors. One Colossal, one Leo, and one Star Eater. Tokens. This is the deck. Like I said, definitely one of the most one of the scariest decks to play against, especially if you're playing a slow deck. This deck would just blow out Gear Gia entirely, which was crazy. There's a very good reason why that deck started playing Triple Black Horn. And that's because it needed it against this deck to keep it from going. Because if it didn't, it was just game over. They couldn't let, they could not let their Heavy Storm resolve. But hey, this has been a uh, deck profile for you guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about this format. What'd you play during this format? I'd like to know. I like seeing this crazy deck. like, you know, may maybe... Maybe I have Doug Zeef watching this video right now, and he can tell me about spirits. Or maybe you're that guy who played uh, Harold and got second at European uh, Nationals that year. You insane, insane person. You inspired me, sir. Maybe you're playing some sort of Junk Synchron deck. Maybe you're like, um... I don't know. Who are you? But anyways, like, like comment, subscribe. Check the, check, check the description box for any supportive links, other decks, other profiles, and of course the duels themselves. This has been Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's. Thank you for watching this Yu-Gi-Oh! Club video. And resolve, uh... I'd say let's finish this off by resolving... Wingbeat of Giant Dragon for game. Yeah.